Hi, my beautiful friends. My beautiful friends. Um, this is Yari with her at Yari. Um, and let's start today with Melanie Beckler's um, Oracle cards. Me. I put some. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hit the. There you go. I put all the boxes on the side and it was um, covering the light. And I just realized it. So I was moving the boxes and hit the camera. All right. So um, these are Melanie Beckler's Oracle cards. And, oh, this is nice. Um, very yellow. Very, very yellow. Um, like um, the solar plexus. It says, pay attention, heighten awareness, see the signs, spiritual guidance. And that's interesting. Let me show you. Because I've been listening a lot to um, this message about paying attention to the signs that I even put up a funny meme on my Instagram and Facebook page about that. Um, because we miss so many signs from, from spirit. Um, it's hard because <clears throat> they're so subtle. So pay attention, heighten, heighten awareness, see the signs, spirit guidance. Look how pretty that is. And that big sun right there. And she's blowing on a feather. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, this is Atlantis. I pre-shuffled the cards, but it took me a minute to shuffle them all, so, you know, the energy can get a little stuck, so that's why I have to shuffle again. And this one says, what? Crystal? Crystal what? Crystal skulls. Wow. Crystal skulls. And there's a bunch of skulls down there. And then there's an owl right here. And there's even a skull kind of levitating on top of that person right there. And the card says, the unknown. Your guidance is that there is a mystery waiting to unfold for much is yet unknown. Perhaps new information is to come to you or all memories or ancient wisdom may surface to your conscious awareness. Meditation would help you to facilitate this. Be cautious about making decisions for you do not have the whole picture. A mystery is waiting to unfold. Isn't that um, also about signs? Your guidance is that there is a mystery waiting to unfold for much is yet unknown. Yes. Perhaps new information is to come to you or all memories or ancient wisdom may surface to your conscious awareness. So, you know, these, all these are signs. So it would definitely have a, a strong um, message of the signs from the divine synchronicities i had all kind of synchronicities today um in the supermarket i was giggling by the time i came out it was funny um little things little things like walking into the seemingly wrong aisle and finding exactly what i was looking for stuff like that um, and it happened several times during that one trip to the supermarket today. So a time for, for healing balsamic moon, a time for
for healing balsamic moon. Very nice. Very, very nice. So we have signs and we have healing. We have signs and healing. And this is um, angels and ancestors. She wolf, unleash the wild within. Wow. She wolf, unleash the wild within. Okay. And then these are angel answers. And this says improving health. We had that just the other day, right? Improving health. So we continue with that. And we, we said that we had messages and we had healing. Um, unleash the wild within. Let me see if I'm interested to know what the author, Kyle Gray, wanted to say about that. Um, Okay. I'm looking for it. I think I'm going to find it. Here it is. Okay. She Wolf, let your wild side up and out. Unleash your talents and your desires. The she-wolf is a powerful shamanic soul who is half wolf, half woman. She is the alpha female who is not afraid to stand out from the crowd or, in this case, pack. She is wild, unfiltered, and unfettered. She encourages you not to be trapped by the limiting factors of weaker members of the pack or those who are trying to hunt you down because you have gifts they don't like or understand. She represents the energy of the wilderness and the unknown. And the unknown. We were talking about the unknown here in the Atlantis card. Um, and encourages you to be free and unchained to go beyond boundaries. Release the animal energy within and track down what you need to do to express your true self. All right. Very good. So, so there's messages. They're healing. There's healing. And then there's be yourself, even if that's wild. Be yourself. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Be yourself. Be wild. Be the leader of the pack. Whatever your pack may be. It can be your family. It can be your um, job. It can be whatever, right? It can be your community. Be the leader of the pack. Um, yeah, and do what you think is right for you, paying attention to those messages so you can heal. Yeah, okay. Let's see what Ascended Master is going to be with us today. 
and that is white tara purification yes so this is more healing purification more healing very good all right so we have our handy dandy dungeons dungeons and dragons that i'm liking so much this day this few the last few days and i shuffle the heck out out of this today because it was kind of um crazy how I got the three cards in the same order of the same day. The last was it the last reading? The last two readings? Yes. It was just kind of crazy. And I was kind of baffled. So I wanted to make sure that it hadn't been me that I did not shuffle correctly. Although I think I did. Why am I taking from the middle? Okay. Oh, we have one also. We've seen that one before. <clears throat> okay. So the first card is the Knight of Coins, I want to say. Maybe not. But it's a knight that, with all his armor and his shield, he is in the middle of a lot of flowers and butterflies. And the sun behind him is a beautiful card. And he has a lot of yellow, just like the first oracle that we got. See that? He has all this armor and his shield, but he's in the middle of that field of flowers and there's a bunch of butterflies and then the sun. So even the, the strongest uh, of the male figure can have that tenderness, can have that vulnerability in the beauty of a flower of a butterfly and and the warmth of the sun um yeah that's beautiful okay and we have the star card and the star card is is hope and it's wish fulfillment but it was on the reverse Now, she has a very strong face, and she is decanting some water behind her almost, but she is in the water. So, I'm not sure if she is just not very sure that the hope of love that she's feeling is going to come true or not. And it's in the reverse. So it's definitely she is not very sure about that love. Ooh. And this, <laughs> and this is a page that has a very devil-like face. I mean, his face is really demonic and mischievous at the same time. And he's putting some powder on some food so we have a toxic or a karmic person here and definitely that's why this woman is not trusting this and then we have an eight but it's people going through that door going through that portal And there's three people. This is very interesting because we have healing and we have messages. And I think this woman here, this divine feminine, it's not trusting 
this um, divine masculine energy here, even though he's showing his vulnerability, even though he's strong, even though he goes to war, even though he has all his armor, he's showing vulnerability. He's showing that he can, that he has a softer side to him. But she don't trust that. And she don't trust that because she's been in this energy. She's been in this energy. Look at that face. Look at that face. And he's definitely poisoning the, the food. You see, he's putting some powder on the food and smiling with that face. So, I think she, this message is for her. She needs to heal. She needs to pay attention to the messages from the divine. She needs to be the she-wolf and be the leader of the pack so she can heal so she can heal and together they can walk through that portal so they can heal together wow so if somebody and it's it's you know male energy is you know the go-getter the, the the decision maker but it doesn't we're not talking about gender we're talking about energy so if you're a divine feminine and there's a divine masculine that is showing you his softer side but you are feeling doubts because of what what you have lived prior maybe it's time to maybe it's time to take some time and go within and look for the and go go slowly i'm not telling you to go ahead and, and jump right in and get married no 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 um <laughs> of course not and and of course everybody's um every everybody's situation is going to be different but um I think this person is to be trusted. I really do. So take baby steps. Feel your way around. Pay attention to the signs. Because the signs of the divine are going to give you the signs. Like it's giving you this reading. This person is to be trusted. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Because somebody that really wants to be with you. And it's worth to be with you. It's going to wait. It's going to give you all the time that you need. Whoever wants you to go fast, 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 and make a decision and let's go right now. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Life don't work like that. So, wow. Let me know in the comments if, if this is your situation. Also, um, I, I, was, I was feeling called to do the questions again. And I don't want to forget. So, so think about your questions. Three questions. Um, the answers need to be uh, yes or no. Okay. So I'm going to do to give you time because I forgot to tell you before. I'm going to do the letters and the charms and then we'll do the, the questions. Okay. All right. So we have a J, an E. An R, another J, a T, okay, another T, you know what's happening, right? An F, an A, and an I. Okay, we just have two. Um, let's get one more W to get the 10. Um, so we have just two J's and two T's, and the other ones are, are different. So there's some, there's not all, 
and I think this fits really well. There's some patterns, and that's what are giving you red flags. That's what. That's why you're like, hmm, I've seen this before, but it's not all. It's different. It's different, okay? Because this person is to be trusted. So G E R G T T. I mean, sorry. J E R J T T F A I W. I forgot my alphabet. Imagine that. All right. So we'll do the charms and then we'll do, we'll do the three the three questions. And if you need to stop the video to think about your questions, by all means do that. Okay. All right. So yes. We're going to write a new story. We're going to write a new story with this person. Uh, this person is not the same. You may think that you see some patterns and, and, and that, that might be true or not. Uh, maybe your perception, but that's what's triggering you right now. Okay. But it's not a lot. Sometimes we, we have two, three, four, no, we have like four, five, six is what I'm trying to say pairs of letters so we know that we're going into that hamster wheel and doing things over and over again and we need to stop that and heal this is just two pairs so you see some repeating patterns but those patterns may be you maybe you because this individual is to be trusted and we're gonna write a brand new story with that um with him or her okay and we said listen to messages pay attention pay attention this may also mean that he or she is gonna call you soon because he has things to say okay and we're gonna raise our vibration we're gonna raise our vibration with music with music um, and the symbolism of electric guitar is is masculine strength and power and this masculine is very strong and very powerful but at the same time very gentle and very soft and approachable okay I love my giraffe you know that I love my giraffe because it's both being uh, close to to divine and and very grounded, which is what we want to we want to be because we live here, so we want to be very grounded. Uh, but the giraffe is also about self acceptance and love, self acceptance and love, which is what we need to do for ourselves so we can heal so we can heal and um so if you are um an aries this is important for you Okay, this is very important for you. And this is also about, you know, strength. Yeah. And then finally we have um, the little unicorn, which is all about magic, but it's also about innocence. Innocence. And, but it's also part of, sending messages to us with elementals and you know different things that the universe uses as tools to communicate with us okay beautiful so let's do um questions remember it has to be uh, a close and that uh, answer it has to be yes no but you know the pendulum also has a maybe so we'll see okay 
Are you ready? First question. All right, so that is a yes, for sure. Second question. That is also a yes. And third question. All right, we have a maybe. Maybe. All right. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, and if this is your story, let me know. I love to to, to read uh, the comments. Um, and please, if you find this uh, reading helpful, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Like, help me grow my little community. And um, thank you very much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.